You know how you wanted me to make you a bomb site for the old B-17 a couple of years ago? Back then I didn't really know what I was doing, but since I was making the Indianapolis fire control system, I learned a couple of things that made it so I could actually make something for you. Um, watching your vlog the other day, that bomb site looks really good, uh, but it's missing one key feature that the Norman bomb site had, which was you could point it at what you wanted it to bomb and it would fly the plane there. I see you got that in uh, the turning axis, but I kind of got something like that here set up. It works off your altitude, so depending on what altitude, uh, it'll change the rate of change on the forward axis to be useful. So you can actually move it forwards, zoom it in and things. Uh, the zoom is multiplied by 0.5, or uh, exponent of 0.5 so that it's linear instead of the weird zoom that cameras have. Also move it left and right and uh, actually what this is doing right now is moving this bomb site to the right well moving the horizontal distance right and uh, there's a PID which is constantly trying to get this turn value to be zero. Of course you can put in the oh yes this doesn't actually make a bomb site angle so you'll need a, the bomb site you already have to feed an angle into it. So if I turn this off, uh, and this was at a bombsite angle of 0.35, then it would just point at 0.35 until you switched on the targeting and readjusted it because it resets the, di the, the distance every time you disable it, which is a useful thing, surprisingly. Move left and right, and um, it always accounts for the compass. So no matter what way you're facing, it'll always save that compass value and uh, make the coordinates based on that. So it doesn't work in GPS, it works in local coordinates. So it's much more difficult, but it's a lot more versatile. You can put in your speed, so if you're going 10 meters per second, it will start adjusting 10 meters every second and reducing it by 10 meters. It also works horizontal axis, so if you've got drift in your plane, it will adjust it accordingly. And of course, as soon as the angle, the pitch on this, is less than or equal to the input bomb site pitch, it will signal out that there is a bomb. I think this could be really useful. It took me like a day to make, so uh, try it out, I guess. Oh, and of course, it uh, accounts for roll, pitch, and yaw. Yeah.